Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout for the Scrap Room Kit Club. I'm on their design team and I am fortunate enough to play with this Simple Stories collection. It's Simple Stories Tis this season. It is stunning and vintage and gorgeous. A lot more of the traditional tones with the reds and the greens, but it does work a lot of aqua in, which I am aqua teal, etc., which I do appreciate. So I'm going to start with a couple pieces of basil cardstock. It is textured called Kisses. This piece here is All Is Calm. Ooh, like that. This one is two by two and two by four elements. Diagonal stripe. And then this is Make It Merry with a very usable background. Now, embellishments to go with it. I've got this gorgeous set of, or amount of um, foam stickers. And guys, these are actually sticky stickers. Be careful when you put them down. That's where they're going to be. I've got a nice little bit of enamel dots and then some ephemera pieces. Cute. Now, I'll also be creating, once I get a good foundation going, with the pattern paper kit, shots of life kit, then the embellishment kit. We're just going to see how it goes. Okay. My photo, which I already backed with a scrap of white cardstock. This is a photo of my oldest daughter named Shay. And she was about one and a half here. And she's looking so cute with her blonde hair. So cute. Little tiny bow because, you know, she had very little hair. But I thought that would be very cute and nostalgic. Now, what I want to do is use the sketch this is the jump start sketch. It looks like Lisa Heidi created it for the scrap room. We've got a really nice large set of two blocks, two pieces of paper coming this way, little tabby thing, little tabby thing, and a visual triangle of embellishments. Two photos, I'll use one title, it's totally fine. It's totally fine, it'll come together really well. It's gonna be great. Now. I'm going to start with a piece of basil for my um, for my background. Now, do I think I'm going to keep that piece of paper? I don't know. My last layout I did, I didn't mean to keep this white cardstock going, but it stayed and it looks great. So we're just going to see how it goes. I'm using my fancy new trimmer that I just got out today from Tim Holtz. Go me. We have this. Now we need two large blocks. So let's see what we might, nope, not that side. We can use this. This might be gorgeous, these two blocks together. And then we've got these nostalgic cars. Now, she wasn't as much, oh, guys, look at how similar the chair pattern looks to this. We definitely have to use that. Um, it's a vintage chair, so that works. And it looks like, this paper might be like maybe three. Is it maybe three by 10? I'm gonna go three and a half because we can, let me see. Is that gonna be too small? Okay, we'll go four by 10. Four, four, four and a half. Guys, I keep changing it because it looks like it's taking up a nice amount of real estate. So I'll do four and a half by 10. Backside is very nice. It is always an option. So if I put it on this, and if I do a 10, yes, okay. Four and a half by 10 is the way this one's gonna go. Not sure if that's what it should be, but that's what it will be. Little scrap put to the side. You never know when we're gonna need that. And do we wanna do this because she looks so cute? I think so. We might just use that one piece of paper today. Okay. I'm willing to go with that. And then another four and a half. I'm having work done on my roof right now. So we might hear the clip clop of Santa. Who knows? Actually, I'm uh, both my chimneys had to be repaired from like the roof line up. And, um, oh, and this one spot in my roof just will not stop leaking. And we've tried all kinds of stuff. I finally go up in the attic, right? To realize that when I had this vent removed, they didn't exactly do the best job with it. Oh, that's cute. They didn't do the best job with it. And I, um, you guys, you know what? I'm going to trim this red down to 
and I'll, I'll explain why. I'm gonna trim this red down to 11 and a quarter by 11 and a quarter. And the reason why is I think I'm gonna use red for the background. So I'm using pattern paper again, which makes me low key pretty happy because you know, I'm trying to use more pattern paper in my life. Um, because I bet there is going to be something exquisite in the pattern paper kit. That way I can just start popping things down, aligning them, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to scuffy scuff this one up because I totally went off scuffing up the other one. So we have that. And these two are going to be like nice and snuggled close together, right? Then we need a couple strips going this way. So what was I thinking that I wouldn't use something else? So let's see. We've got the total tone on tone red, but this is really cool. So what I need to do is, you know, make sure I can survive. Like if I cut some of this side, I'm fine. I wanted to, like, I love this car, so I don't want to cut into that. All right, so I think I'll go ahead and cut a nice chunk right here. And then, let's see. To about right here and guys keep this this is perfect for doing little tags and stuff now this will go under we've got plaid and stripes not always my bag but in this situation we're just gonna go with it it's gonna be okay now I may end up moving these bits right over here because that's where my photo is and we want to do everything that draws your eye to the photo so we have that now I need a smaller piece um got the little cars but I might just come in with a smaller piece of just some red I don't think that it's going to matter that much either way so let's see I might have to make that piece just a little bigger that I've oh did that cut there we go might have to cut it a little bit to make it longer so what I'm going to do in that situation since that's going to be hiding <laughs> cover that right up nobody but you and I know that's an issue we go boop it's got some font or some text writing on it I don't care guys it's okay if it goes that way it's okay does not bother me. We'll go like this. Let's bring this like this. I want them sticking out looking so cute. And the smaller one goes on top of the bigger one. And I'm gonna have that go almost all the way to the end. And that one like that. This goes like this with a little bit of a snuggy snug. You can see those patterns a little bit right there. Does anybody know where Shay went? Here she is. She was leaving the building. How cute. Okay, we have that. Perfect. Now, this is supposed to go slightly over here because we're going to have a bit of something here. Now, we have embellishments. So instead of a tab coming out, I'm going to use this as my tab. I think that would be really cute. Tis the season. Can come out. Then, so we had that. Maybe this coming up here, and I'll pop it up. It'll be fine. That goes there. Visual. There's a little bit of a visual something that needs to come down here. And then under the photo. See, I only have the one photo going. So it would be... Actually, there's kind of like two at the top. So we've got this cluster and then this one. Okay, like that. I'm hip. I have figured it out. We can have that there. This looks just, I know it's supposed to be like a pine tree or something, but it totally looks like a um, rosemary, a little piece of rosemary. We can have the word delight there. My grandmother always had a thing about anything to do with children should never have black in it. So I still like have to sneak around and like, she's not with us, but I feel like I have to sneak around to have that on there. All right, the word joy is my title. so. I can pop that, and what I'm gonna do, because I'm not ready to stick it down yet, I'm gonna just go ahead and cut it out. Do, 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 do. So that when I am ready to pop it down, it's gonna be no big deal. And that's going to kind of be a part of those clusters. I know it's on our forehead, the star, it won't always be there. Okay, I'm gonna keep 
these little pieces for now. I know I'll put the three stars, so that will all go on there. And I'm gonna get my enamel dots out because they will go on at the very, very end. Perfect. Ha. Let's go ahead and take a look at the pattern paper kit. And oh, wow. That's so pretty. So this paper is called Home for the Holidays. Wow. Oh, and then a really nice red plaid, like deep, deep red. And then this one is called Christmas Spirit. Great layering. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Totally, totally feeling this. This is called Christmas Spirit. I love this piece and it's going to bring the outside to the inside and the inside to the outside. Now, here's the deal. This is gorgeous. Do, can I go through the pain of sacrificing this slightly? If I go like that, it's going to separate it out. It's not doing a ton though, is it? What if I go like this? and then go like this. I think that looks better. What do you guys think? I think that looks better. So I'm gonna double mat it with that. It's gonna be great. And guys, I will gut out the middle. Don't worry, no paper will be left behind. Now, let's go ahead and look at the shots of the bucket. Cause this is where things get tricky. This is where things get tricky. Um, this is called four by six elements. So we've got some gorgeous things. I love this piece here. It is beautiful. Always love a cardinal. And then we've got this great plaid. Plaid with plaid with plaid with plaid. Interesting. <laughs> I love that bird, but the scale is slightly off for what we are doing. I'm Mr. Birdie. I love him. I like this capture the magic of the season too, but I want to leave it intact. What are we going to do? Am I going to just not use that? I always use them. The reason why I keep looking at it is I have so much plaid going, right? I already have two plaids, like <laughs> reel the plaid back, my friends. Um, and then the large elements that are on there, they're so incredibly beautiful that I really want to think through it. Although I'm finding this piece and it keeps coming in my head or right, into my eyeline, I want to cut some of this gorgeous floral. And this word joy is just going to deal with being sacrificed a little bit. There we go. I just had to look at it for a minute. So this word joy, well, it's not joy anymore. <laughs> Things have happened. I think that's gonna go up there and it's gonna bring some light. I think that would be great. Now let's see what's in here. We get the whole thing. Oh no, there is a star that went flying. We get the whole thing of these uh, simple pages, which I can't say enough about them. So this is a little big for what I have. Oh, that's the same thing. Tis the season. <gasps> okay, this is what I'm talking about, these little things. I can pop some of these sweet little stars on and it's gonna make it so magical. And then, oh, that can be right above the photo with a little bit of greenery, a little extra greenery coming down here. And we're gonna have it at different, um, you know, like it's it's gonna be popped up differently. Delight and Believe are great. And then maybe this piece. Guys, I love it. So to finish, we're gonna have all these stars. We're gonna have these enamel dots. Guys, I haven't even looked at the um, embellishment kit yet. Let me get all these pieces on, then we will come together and look at the embellishment kit. I'm almost scared to, to know what we're going to have. So I'm going to get everything popped down except for these little sweet finishing touches. Right, so I used all of the pieces that were on this handy dandy little piece of acetate. Guys, save this for shaker pockets. Totally works. If there's no dents in it, it's good to go. So all I have left to do on this fun little sketch project is add some stars in and some of these enamel dots. So go ahead, just cut little bits from this adhesive I have, and I'm gonna just sprinkle them around and it's it's cute. I mean, it's nostalgic, it's cute. It totally vibes, even, even the house that the photo was taken in, it's a 1920s house. So it has that same kind of vintage, sweet vibe to it. Now, 
This girl at this point is 25. She is not vintage. Well, I guess she's a classic. I don't know, but it totally works. I'm going to use a few big stars, a couple smaller stars, and like I said, enamel dots, and that will be that sweet little vintage layout from back in the day. I mean, look at her with her cute little shoes and cute little dress. It's adorable. So there's a little gold here. I want to make sure to have a gold star in this one. There's a little gold in this citrus here. So we can put that big one there. Just those little touches to bring a tiny bit of that color down totally makes it work. Totes. So sweet little cluster. Oh, and in our um, sketch, the title was up here, but it nestled in so nicely down in this cluster that I was like, you know what? What's done is done. It's good. I need to just use one of these little stars. Let me get a tiny bit more of my strippy adhesive going. One more little star, some enamel dots, and I'm going to be done with that. So guys, I'll have links down below for their scrap room website, the Facebook group, the blog, all of that. Guys, the Facebook group has all kinds of challenges going on. Obviously, you can see the sketch challenge, Freaky Fast Friday, Kill a Kit, Throwback Sketch. Um, yum, 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 yum. Oh, there's always this challenge where you use stash from... Um, you know, use your stash. And it's like with the first letter of a word. So like, let's say the word is cat. So you would have something that starts with C, A, T, etc. It's kind of a cool thing. So I have some there. I think I'll go like that. I think on this one, I will bring a big piece here. I'd like to, you know, use the large, ooh, wait, I have to steal one. I totally lied to you. I want to put it right in that camera lens. I like to use the um, biggest enamel dots, smallest, smallest, because you can always find a way to use the small ones. Can't always find a way to use the large ones. It's a true thing. Kind of like just that enamel dot there. So I'm going to not put any more enamel dots in that spot. I like that it's totally doing this nice shininess. I have two in that one. Eh. I'll have three down in my title cluster and that uses my enamel dots. I love to use stuff up. It's, it's, it's oddly satisfying. Okay, guys, that is this layout finish. Super fun to do. Love these gorgeous little nostalgic pieces that are part of this simple vintage line. I'm going to bend up just a couple of my leafy bits. Now there's a lot of like white around them. So it's, I'm not going to be able to make it, you know, super realistic. Not that it's realistic, but you know what I mean. Not gonna be able to take it too far, but it'll go enough that it'll have just a little bit of interest if I have a little bit of a bendy bend on things. All right, guys, that is this layout finished. I'm gonna see you guys ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, guys. Oh, still shots to follow.